Hey, what is up everyone? This is Dynamon here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Renegade Platinum. Last time we went here to the Eternal Forest with this beautiful team that we've got right now. We just need to evolve all of them. Um, but yeah, we've uh, gone over here to the Eternal Forest, explored a little bit of it. We had a barrel with Cheryl and now we're going to be moving through the rest of Eternal Forest, of course. And probably check out a mansion that is uh, close to here. And who knows, maybe even go explore Eterna City. Let's try and do some stuff in this episode, right? Alright, so let's just get right to it, battle these trainers. And uh, while doing that, uh, I do want to say that um, if you've watched my Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing uh, video that I uploaded on Saturday, I did mention that I was going to be uploading Pokemon, uh, or not, sorry, I was going to be uploading Paper Mario. Uh, supposedly yesterday, but obviously that didn't happen. And it's still coming. It's still coming. I'm still going to be uploading that. Um, but uh, I just need to find a good time of doing that. Um, just I've been uh, just pretty busy with other things, and also you know the the weather is still uh, pretty hot over here, so it's really uh, not a good time to record most of uh, mostly because you know. Um, I don't want to, like, you know, getting burnt to death while trying to do uh, playthroughs. So, um, yeah. Um, if you didn't know it yet, yes, it's going to be a po uh, Paper Mario Origami King playthrough. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, hopefully I can start that up soon. Um, but for now, we're just going to continue through Pokemon Renegade Platinum, of course, because this game is fun. And we've already started on this. And, you know, it's just easier for me to record right now and uh, yeah I think it'll be a lot of fun anyway so yeah we're still teaming up with Cheryl and we're still going through this forest beating all these bugs building all these trainers and uh, just having a good time with Tony on our side who I actually I actually don't remember when Tony evolves I think it's only like in the 30s I think he doesn't evolve until like 35 or something silly like that which uh, I mean, we're gonna get there soon enough because you fight a lot more Pokemon and you level up a lot easier in this game compared to regular Platinum. Um, so hopefully soon enough we can get a beautiful Fabraba and then a Flygon, of course. We learned Crunch though, which is definitely a good thing to uh, to be learning. Um, though I think uh, Tony is getting a little bit over leveled, so let's go ahead and put Erica up front, give Erica some experience. I think that's a pretty good plan. We found a potion. Kind of uh, underwhelming, but hey, it'll do, I guess. And there we go, level 20 for Erica. Beautiful. Okay, let's see. I don't think there's were any more trainers over to the left side. Uh, oh, actually, there are. Didn't uh, didn't think so, but there definitely is more trainers here. Well, let's just get them out of the way real quick. So yeah, obviously uh, we're going to be going through the Pokemon Mansion as well in this episode. And because it's part of Eternal Forest, I guess. So that'll be a lot of fun. To check that out, we can obviously get Rotom there. That's how it, well, that's what's in the original as well, so... That's nice. It's nice having this chance on by my side because it can only take some hits. Wow, that extra sensory did a lot though. Holy moly. Alright, I count on you to take care of the Chingling Chansey so I can sludge the Medi uh, Mr. Mime. I was gonna, I was gonna say Meditate because it used Meditate. <laughs> That's kind of silly. Oh! Man, Mr. Mime, you are bulky as hell. I think they might have buffed Mr. Mom in this game as well. Not quite sure on that. Oh well, goodbye Ivysaur. Couldn't take out their Pokemon. I should have probably just gone for Chingling, but... It's okay, my Pokemon will get healed after this anyways. Um, I'm gonna go with the Elekid, because he needs some experience. Time to punch his Chingling. Get that thing out of here. 
Everything is a bit of pain. Oh man, look at Chance using an electric type move as well. Didn't even KO it though. Wow. At least we got the poison on our side. And level 24 Elgate too. Everyone is in the 20s now. Beautiful. I believe Elgate evolves at level 30. If I remember correctly. So that's really not that uh, long until we evolve. Just 10 more levels. So we're going to have a beautiful Electabuzz. Another Thunder Punch. Here we go. This Chemeco is pretty bulky. I'm pretty sure they buffed up uh, Chemeco as well. It's kind of annoying so early on fighting these because obviously they're buff up so much and they're like, you know, this strong. It's going to be very hard for an Elekid to take care of them, but hey, we're doing fine so far. Our Ivysaur is healed up, which is what I like to see. Okay. Moving on. I think that was definitely the last few trainers, though. I don't think there's any more. Yeah, it's definitely the ending here. So we'll just have to go to the exit here. Oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved we finally got here. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Kevin. This is my token. This is my token of appreciation. Please accept it. We got a few TM27s, which is she doesn't tell. Okay. I'm sure we'll meet again somewhere. Bye for now. I don't know on top of my head what TM27 is. It's re Oh! Oh! Now, I do not have a normal type. Um, so... I don't know how useful this will be for me. Um, and I don't know if a lot of my Pokemon really love me all that much just yet, so... I think I'm gonna pass on learning that for now. But we are definitely going to explore this uh, mansion right here. Alright, that should be a level up. There we go. Level 21 for Erika. That's beautiful. I guess our goal should be getting everyone up to level 22. Shadow Claw, that is kind of nice to have. But I don't know if anyone could learn that. I don't think anyone can learn that, to be honest. Let's see. Let us take a look. Duffel can learn it, apparently. But I don't know if I really want to get rid of anything on him. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, Metal Claw, obviously, when I evolve, I gain the Steel-type stab, so I I don't know if I really want that. I also forgot what hidden power Duffel had. It was definitely good. It was a good one to have, but I don't remember what it was. Alright, Old Chateau. Got to... Chateau? Chateau? How, I don't even know how you say that. Let's just go into this first room right here. Oh, what we have over here? This looks a little bit different. What Pokemon can we find here? Of course, ghost types. Makes sense. Okay, what is over here? A rare candy. I will definitely take that. Anything in the trash bag cans? Always gotta look at the trash cans, man. Maybe these boxes? Hey! That's amazing. Maybe in the fridge. Maybe someone left some leftovers in the fridge. Right outside, not really anything special. Okay, yeah, definitely nothing there. What does this say? It's like a little sign. Yeah. Okay, I can't read it, apparently. I haven't learned how to read. I hear it's amazing when the famous purple stuffed form in Flapjow space with the toning fork does a raw blink on Harry Curry Rock. I need scissors 61! Ah, oh, that totally isn't creepy at all. God, that hunter already had ominous wind. That was really, really, really strong. Mm. Do you love old Gatto? Let me take a look. Why don't you have any old Gatto? You really need to get, need some. Here, so have some more right now. Oh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed that because it's very nice and now I got an eat it. Goodbye. Totally creepy. Not creepy at all. Right? Oh, wait. There's another dude here. Kevin, turn the game console off right now. <laughs> nice little forward wall breaking. Oh, eradicate. That's going to give us some good experience. All right. There we go. I had to use some potions because that eradicate definitely did some damage with those hyper fangs. 
But we got a nice level 22. One cylinder takedown. I think I'm gonna pass on that. I don't really like takedown. Because it it's not only a move that does recoil damage, but you can also miss it. Which is just not really what you want. Alright, let's put the duffel up front for now. Let's see what's in this uh book ball. A spell tag. Well, I don't have a ghost type, so I don't, can't really make use of that. So I guess for now we'll continue on. Well, there's only one room explored, though. So we still have quite a few rooms to go. Leaf. Aha. Uh -huh. We got an old gato. If you if we didn't already have enough from that lady, a creepy lady. There's another one. Pokemon magazine. Pokemon pal. Pokemon handbook. Adorable Pokemon. Okay. Says the same thing. Says the same damn thing. I do like how ominous this m music is. Check for Pokemon books and collections. Okay. I feel like a hidden switch in like these books. Doesn't seem like it. There's an old moat book. There's something scrawled in it. Some hang so peculiar should make up if the mud. The rest of the page are black. Did I say black or blank? I meant blank, of course. I mean, I guess... Blank could be black. I, I don't know. Any good experience from these wild Pokemon. It's kind of... Uh, unexpected. Alright, another old Gatel. We definitely have gotten quite a... Quite a few here. I do like this music. Like... It sounds so ominous. and It definitely fits this... Uh, this team well. Okay, so here... Oh, 21! There we go. As I was going to say before I was rudely interrupted by Digastly, here we can obviously encounter a Rodom. Um, I think I'm going to go with Eric up front because I not only resist uh, lightning, but uh, obviously I have a sleep powder, so it'll make it easier to catch. Do I even have enough balls for this? Hold on. I don't really, to be honest. I probably should get some balls first before I uh, attempt this. Well, we can explore some of the other rooms here. We've got some beds. There's some empty trash cans. Can I sleep in these beds? I, I guess I can't. Alright. Kind of a useless room then. But that's alright. Let's see what's in the next one. Hmm. Really can't do much here either. Another empty trash can. But we saw that there definitely was something over here. It's a substitute. Nice. That totally means you guys should subscribe, right? Because it's substitute. Sub. Sub for sub. I got a sub, you got a sub. That really doesn't make any sense. I don't even know. I'm sorry, I don't even know, man. Here we got Eradicate. It's gonna give me some decent experience, probably. Maybe I should just... I'm just gonna run away, because that, uh, this... This Raticate is doing some damage, dude. I, I, it's scary. Alright. I don't even know want Ivysaur up front here. Let's put uh, Allocate up front. Okay, for now, we will leave the Rotom alone. And we will just exit out for here. Exit uh, out here for now, is what I was trying to say. Any item here? No? Okay. It just looks so weird. Alright, let's see what's on this side. Now we can actually go over here. Um, we got some berries. Alright, nice. I'll definitely take those. We you battle? Oh, are you collecting accessories? I've got something for you. We got a big tree. I already have one, though. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Anyways. Why did I even say that? I. What's wrong with me? Alright, what is this? Silver powder that boosts bug type moves. Well, I don't have a bug type move on trap and chat, so it's not really overly useful. But hey, we got sleep talk. That could be useful if I want to talk in my sleep, because I I don't think I do that usually. Or maybe I do. I mean, I obviously I want to know because I can't really hear myself sleep talk when I'm sleeping. Unless you can, I actually don't know. Maybe you can. They sit back in the fish cache. It's a grown-up's hobby. How about that? I've done me a feisty trainer. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what you got. 
Show me your fish. And show me your moves. And it's gonna be easy. This is gonna be a cakewalk for Elekid. Easy experience. Look at that. Mmm. Finds everything. Gotta punch them all. Gotta punch them all. Punch him on. Alright, we got Corefish. Oh, no. Don't, don't protect. Don't be like this. Don't be like this, sir. Oh, it already has Aqua Jet. Damn. What? Okay. Alright. That's that's wild. He got a freaking crit and he just KO'd me right away. I felt like that was going to do some damage because it probably has a depth ability. But, my gosh. That was ridiculous. Should have been able to live one, but of course it gets a crit. And last is a polywag. I guess Erika is gonna finish this off. Man, I really wanted Elekid to get the experience because I really want to just get the Electabuzz, <laughs> honestly. So I guess who I should really level up would be things like Erika and uh, Quilava. Because, you know, those will be useful for the gym. Makes sense, right? Alright, let's go ahead and heal up real quick. And just finish off the rest of these trainers. And now we'll explore Eternal City afterwards. Alright, let's do the rest of these fishermen's. Let's do the rest. And see what they've got for us. Oh, carps. Well, that's kind of easy. Alright, let's see if uh, I can't... Get uh, Aqua Jetta then crit it by a Corefish again and just get easy experience for Elekid. Although these Magic Arps are gonna give me Jack for experience. Hey, it's a Feebas. Alright. Punch all these fists. We gotta fist these uh, fishes. We gotta F the FF. F F F the Fs? F what am I even saying? I don't know. Let's just uh, get this over with, Alakid. Just, just deal with him. There we go. That'll do. All right, last fisherman. What do you got? He said he, he's fished himself up some tough Pokemon. Well, let's go ahead and see what kind of Pokemon you got. It's a Krabby. I mean, it's better than Magikarp, I guess. So, I'll let it slide. But this, I, I really wouldn't count it as a tough Pokemon, to be honest. But hey, let's see what else you have. You have a Finneon. Wow. What a tough Pokemon. What an amazing catch! Totally not being sarcastic or anything. No. Oh, so close to level up. Let's do a kit has me gasping like a Magikarp. But you don't even have a Magikarp. Oh, a Water Stone that I'm not going to be using, but I'll still take it. All right. Gonna pick up all these berries again. There we go. Anything over here? Besides wild Pokemon, of course. Oh, Volby. There we go, level 22. Oh, light screen. Um, damn, I don't know. Light screen could be useful. I uh, definitely don't want to get rid of these. Uh, low kick. I feel like low kick never really does too much damage, but... It could be useful for some stuff. I don't remember what hidden power this is. I completely forgot all the hidden powers, like what they were. Because it's been a while since I last recorded. Let's get rid of low kick for now. We'll probably get a fi better fighting type move at some point, and then we'll probably re replace light screen again, or replace hidden power, I don't know. 
like I said, I don't remember what kind of hidden power I have. Okay, I think that is enough for this route. Let's go ahead and move on to Eterna City. I'm gonna heal up my Alicator real Alrighty. quick. Let's explore the city, see, talk to every NPC, because you never know they might actually give me something, you know? Okay, you don't give me Jack. Uh, I don't have, I don't have Dazzling Gleam. I'm, s I'm sorry. I can't teach your Clefairy Dazzling Gleam. Because I don't have the TM for it yet. I, I wish I did. That would be great. That would be amazing. Like, imagine Dazzling Gleam on, uh, my Glaceon, if it can even learn it. I, I don't think it can. Maybe it can. Who knows? Definitely change some of the movesets up, so it might be able to. I don't even know if it could learn it, like, right away. Like, or I mean, what I, what I, what I more so mean is, like, I don't know if it can learn it normally. Oh, we got a TM for Dig. That's pretty cool. I like that. I might give that to uh, Quilava, actually. Oh, wait, hold on. What did you say? Oh, you want to give me fossils? Oh, sure, yeah. Give me. Oh, we got multiple. Oh, Helix fossils? Dome fossils? Just gonna hand them to me, huh? Damn. Wow. It just keeps on going. I'm just gonna get every single fossil, apparently. Beautiful. Okay, they're talking about the underground. I, I don't think I'm gonna do much of the underground. I don't really think... I find it all that useful, and it's not gonna be all that entertaining to do, so... Yeah, this guy just talks about uh, having the Explorer Kid and whatnot. I wonder if they ever do Davenport remakes, if they bring this back, or if they will change it, or, or what they will actually do. No. I don't care about your underground stuff, man, for now. I want to explore the rest of the city real quick. Just real, real, real fast. Talk to everyone. See if they have something to give moi. I should probably buy some balls to try and catch the Ronum. Although I'm not—I don't even want to use the Ronum though. That's that's the thing. I might not even catch it to be honest. Um, oh, I can only still buy Pokeballs. I don't know if that's really worth it. I use my money on some potions, honestly. What do you sell? Uh, heal ball, med ball, mess balls. Seen plenty of those. I guess let's check out this house. Oh, there's actually a sign in front of it. What does the sign say? Eterna Contemnians. Name rating service is available. Oh. Name raider. Oh, wait. Didn't we need to name someone? Oh, yeah. We need to name Alakid. Um, it's a male. Um, uh, I was gonna go with King as a reverence to Elicate King, but I think I'm gonna go and I once again keep the gym leader trend going and name you Watson. Could also name you Surge for Lieutenant Surge. Or I could name you after Clement. But no, I, I like Watson. Watson is pretty cool. There we go. Now all of our Pokemon are nicknamed. I don't have a Snorunt. Chattel is pretty cool though to have, because it definitely did get buffed. But I don't think we are going to be rocking a Chaton. No, I did just realize that if we ever get Fly, I don't think we'll have anyone that can probably use it, except for maybe Flygon, but I don't even know if I want to put it on Flygon. I think I'm 67s, which is... Recycle. Talk about useless. Definitely, definitely useless. 
I spy with my little eye an item just chilling right here. It's a sunstone. Oh, that's nice. It's handy to have. If it's anything, it's a bicycling a cycling road. I don't have a bike yet, so I guess we cannot go to the cycling road just yet. This house is empty. Hmm, I wonder what that could mean. I wonder what that could mean. So we got a bicycle shop here. Obviously, we can't really do much here just yet. Oh, there's a little kid here. Has gone off the Team Galactic Ball and hasn't returned. I wonder what's holding him up. Well, what are you expecting if he's going to a Team Galactic building? Like, come on, man. Have some brains. Oh! Speaking of having some brains, this guy definitely needs some as well. No, I'm just kidding. I love you, Barry. You're, you're cool. You're gonna take me to the statue, though. Oh, it's the man. What the? So, this is Eterna's Pokemon statue. Shaping our world, our time and space in an entertaining spiral. Revered in Sinnoh I had a Pokemon of time and space. Sinnoh Smith. Its fruit need investigation. Pardon. Stand aside. Oh, hey! When we smacked together, a brilliant flash of inspiration came to me. An easy way to become a great trainer. Yeah, that. Alright, listen close. Make certain all your attacks hit. Avoid enemy attacks for sure. You do that, you'll never lose. You'd be the invincible trainer. Anyway, go check out the Pokemon statue. See you around. Thanks for that amazing advice, Barry. I appreciate it. It's Eternal City's Pokemon statue. There seems to have been a decrypted flake, but it appears to be turned off. I always found this statue so uh, fascinating because it's like a mix of Dialga and Palkia. It's kind of weird. Almost could mean that they were just like uh, Reyesha or Makir, or maybe were like a fusion at some point first. Herb shop. I don't need your herbs. I got plenty of potions. Wait, what? Wrong game. Anyways, moving on. Can't go into the Eterna building just yet, but hey! We have Cynthia. Oh, that device you have. Is it a Pokedex? Wow, it brings back some memories. Pardon me, but what's your name? Okay, hello Kevin. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Have you seen it already? According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, maybe you, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Oh, I know. Try using this. It should be helpful. HMO1 Remember, the hidden move cut can be used in the field. It will let you go places that were previously inaccessible for you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then luck be with you, young trainer. Oh, there's one last thing. Please give my regards to Professor Rowan. If I ever do see him again, yes, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Before I don't forget. Um, is there anything... I never really checked if there's anything over here. But it doesn't seem like there is. You kid! Behind me is the one, the only Team Mono Galactic Air Turnup building. You can see it on the sign, yeah? It's no place for a kid like you. You don't even have a Forge badge either, so your Pokemon must be weak. We don't want them either. Wow, just wait, just wait until I do have the Forest badge, man. I will F you up. We got Thief! That's kind of fitting for being close to the Team Galactic building. Alright. So... Um, I think there is one more house over this way. Um, oh, it's actually closed off. Never mind. Oh, wait, no, there is a house right here. I wasn't lying. Gotta give him... Okay, nothing important. He's in Pokemon statue. When I was a real child. Which she went like this sort of creation of Dia, giver of time and laughter. There is tears and likewise the same time flows. The blessing of Dia. Yikes. Want to hear about the other description? Yes. Birth of Paula. Creator of parallel dimension. Alive yet not alive. It rips in space. But yeah, hip hop pal. La petite skeptical. It was be that mighty. How can? Alright, alright. You, you're investigating the statue, or you mean you're like destroying the statue? Either way. So let's go ahead and check out if we can actually go to the gym, huh? Let's go ahead and check that out. 
because normally we would be able to take on the gym right now, but um, seems like this man is standing in front of it. Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? Sorry to disappoint you, but <sighs> sorry to disappoint you after you've come such a long way, but the gym leader Gardenia isn't here at the moment. Gardenia went over to Route 216 to go look for some grass-type Pokémon. I'm sure she'd come back to the gym if you go talk to her. Route 216 is to the northeast of here, through the Mount Coronet. Incidentally, you'll likely find plenty of Ice-type Pokémon in Route 212. Two hundred, one hundred and twelve. Wait, what did that say? I don't, I don't even remember. I think I said that completely wrong. As an exclusive tip for me to you, this Pokemon in this gym hates Ice types. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I already have an Ice type, and I have a Fire type, and I have a Bug type, and I have a well, I have a Bug type with no Bug moves, but still, it's still Bug type. And then I have um, a Poison type. It's also super effective, and I have a Pokemon with a flying type move, so I think I'll be fine. But I will go ahead and grab Gardenia for you if you really want that. Um, actually, that's exactly what we're going to do in the next episode. We're going to be moving over to the route over here, which was... What route was it again? Route 211. We're going to explore Route 211, maybe explore some of Mount Coronet, and obviously make our way to routes what was it 216 to go ahead and uh, get gardenia back to the gym so we can battle her definitely something new here which is uh one of the things i did mention about this game is that they added a lot of new parts and just different orders the way you do things like you obviously in the, f uh, in the original game you didn't go to route 216 until post game or not post game sorry until later like after what was it? It's like after the fifth badge or something like that, or sixth badge? After the sixth badge, I believe. Yes. And now you can already go it like after your first badge. It's crazy. So let's see what that is all about in the next video. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching.